Greetings, amazing minds! Ready to embark on another journey to English mastery with Snopey English? Let's learn, grow, and conquer together. Hit it! Today, we are going to learn cooking expressions about Vietnamese pho. The first key expression is, a rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. This sentence describes the base and flavor profile of pho broth. The second key expression is, rice noodles, usually thin and flat. This sentence informs about the type of noodles used in pho. The third key expression is, thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. This sentence explains how the beef is prepared and cooked in pho. The fourth key expression is, bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. This sentence lists common toppings added to pho for extra flavor and texture. Today, we're making Vietnamese pho, a traditional noodle soup. What kind of broth do we use for pho? A rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. What type of noodles are in pho? Rice noodles, usually thin and flat. How do we prepare the beef? Thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. What other ingredients are added to the soup? Bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. How long does the broth need to simmer? For the best flavor, simmer it for at least four hours. Can I use chicken instead of beef? Yes, chicken pho is also a delicious option. Is there a vegetarian version of pho? Certainly, use vegetable broth and tofu or mushrooms. Listen to the following main sentences repeatedly and become familiar with them. Let's listen to the conversation between the two people. A rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. A rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. Listen again with subtitles. A rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. A rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. Listen carefully without subtitles. A rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Rice noodles, usually thin and flat. Rice noodles, usually thin and flat. Listen again with subtitles. Rice noodles, usually thin and flat. Rice noodles, usually thin and flat. Listen carefully without subtitles. Rice noodles, usually thin and flat. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. Thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. Listen again with subtitles. Thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. Thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. Listen carefully without subtitles. Thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. Bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. Listen again with subtitles. Bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. 
Bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. Listen carefully without subtitles. Bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. We've looked at the key expressions so far. Let's remember the key sentences and listen to the entire dialogue repeatedly. Today, we're making Vietnamese pho, a traditional noodle soup. What kind of broth do we use for pho? A rich beef broth, simmered with spices like star anise and cinnamon. What type of noodles are in pho? Rice noodles, usually thin and flat. How do we prepare the beef? Thinly slice raw beef and it will cook in the hot broth. What other ingredients are added to the soup? Bean sprouts, basil, lime, and jalapenos are popular toppings. How long does the broth need to simmer? For the best flavor, simmer it for at least 4 hours. Can I use chicken instead of beef? Yes, chicken pho is also a delicious option. Is there a vegetarian version of pho? Certainly, use vegetable broth and tofu or mushrooms. Was today's study useful? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Goodbye everyone and see you next time.